looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? I woke up. I was in Yosuke's senpai's tent. I... I... I was a dream. It must have been a dream. Okay. All right, then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? Then I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but, uh, 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 oh yeah, we don't have swimsuits with us. Man of all the luck. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. Oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, 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 it's, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit done. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Dude, that's just wrong. Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. Uh... You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. Oh, we get it already. Sheesh, never let things go. All right, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man! Stop staring like that! Hey! Why are you all quiet? Yosuke's the one who chose these suits, not us! Man, this is going even better than I expected! Kinda makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys gotta admit I chose some good suits. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're gonna turn into some fine-looking women before too long. Don't you think so? You guys crossed the line. Definitely. <laughs> it's freezing! <laughs> you didn't have to push us in! Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. They brought this on themselves! Sheesh! Aren't they the worst, Kanji-kun? Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are, are you feeling okay? Don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still... Uh... What? Ew! <laughs> that was cool. 
close. What was that for? I didn't do anything! Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? So that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. Senpai. Don't say it. It sucks. What do you expect? Oh my god. That was horrid. I'll never be clean again. Oh, this would be a good rest to cheer me up. What can we do today? See what's on Tanaka's amazing commodities. What's it this week? Power belt. Huge fish. And ice cubes. Wow, those, those both suck. My life. Well, they can't all be gems. Let's go into town. Let's release some of that stress that we got from yesterday by going into the TV and finally training up Kanji a bit before the next part of the story rears its ugly head. You say anything different? Yo! Ah, no. No thanks. No. See you later. No. Well, technically, we're going to be spending the day together. Just not you and me alone. And they're really trying to hide the fact that that uh, that Yosuke is kind of homophobic. Let's. Even though I don't consider it Kanji gay myself, but it's up to the for itself to determine whether he's gay or not. I don't really think he is. I think he's just shy. Because I myself was like that. Going back to the sauna. We don't have to, but we got. You don't have to, but I want to. Now I can finally pick the teams that I want. Now they are going to pick Yosuke. Going back in there, and you can go. Like I said, I like Chie's character, but I don't like how she plays in the battle, so that's kind of why she's getting the shaft on this one. And not like that, you goddamn perverts. Maybe the party will change again in the future, who knows. But let's just get to the chase and uh, tactics. There we go. All right. As you can see, Kanji's weapon is the chair. Really, it's just heavy objects. Later on, he gets plates. Talk about Kanji's 
Kanji's a uh, little affiliation or association in this so far. His persona is based around electricity and physical things. I think he hits a lot harder than GTA ever except for That's how it's amazing, Sensei! In Persona, I'm going to But in this one, he actually has a bit of a personality type of main character. I think that's what happens with all these personas in the series. If they're tied to a specific character, then they change shape throughout the series. I think up to this point, probably because if you look pretty much the same as the Kilikan. The appearance definitely looks cool. I'm not going to show you off when I'm at it. I've seen him. Uh, kind of a mecha skeleton with a white people as a weapon. Pretty damn sweet. Yeah. Anyway, we can get this, so be careful not to have him get that. So, I'm pretty much going to be taking over the GTA's uh, elements from here on out. And Kanji's going to be taking over for mine. There are two enemies! Hang in there! Damn, it's not going down! Here goes! Push the car! Whoa! We can smash them all! Let's do it! Damn right. It's my turn! Yeah! It's hilarious. Mainly keeping you to go around because I know what you like. I do need a white man. I don't know if we're going to be finding anything all that special in this place, so this is more or less just a trading session. Drop. We should actually get to a uh, higher force before we can really get on Because these little piss ants are going to be giving us all of that. Expected, can be a secret weapon in this area. I believe it's some sort of uh, elegant looking plate, but it's all kind of it's all weird to me. It's some sort of uh, some sort of plate shit thing. Why it doesn't break is beyond me. It must be out of some sturdy ass material. Time I oh, there's that peach seed. That's the type of guy that peach seed, and I can get that super exclusive book that he's holding on to. As with the uh, last secret box, we're going to be going a little, tr a little trading overboard in order to kill it. First, we have to find out what's weak is and how to exploit it. Oh, well, that's a given for most any of the bosses in this game. And RPGs in general. <laughs> believe it or not, the first time I heard that wasn't even in this game. I believe it was actually in a... Kind of a YouTube poop-esque thing where they use clips from Devil May Cry and they put like certain clips of TV shows and shit in it. I know it's weird. That's the thing, that's the saying I can use for just about everything. It's weird. Yeah, 11 of them. Why not? Oh, oh. And, 
get help. Or I can get in the Falcon's eye because uh, I don't think that he's going to be too worried about getting hit by ice. So, he'll be ice suppressor to you can know. Get the Falcon's eye to come. And of course we got goddamn. Let's do this. No. Ah! Three enemies down. All right. All right. Out of our way. Thinking that that's a good idea, finally go dunk your head in some fucking ice water. I ice water? I don't know. First thing that came to my mind. Scrub your brain clean of that stupid idea. Supersonic is mine! Holy crap, you actually came into the room. It wasn't fast enough to catch me. I swear to God, I'll see it like 200 fucking parts. Considering how I square up these parts. I don't like calling them like this. I really don't. It's not a fucking thing you guys are. Why are you calling it like this? That is what? I really don't know what luck does in this game. It doesn't seem to really factor into all that much except for maybe critical hits. Maybe that's it. Who knows? Besides the game designers. I really think that luck is kind of a throwaway stat in most games. What's the point? You should just have like a crit stack. That sounds a bit more usable, more open. Like the higher you get your crit stack, the more likely you are to get critical hits. Is that so hard? No, instead it's luck. Well, maybe they're actually making for uh, a block that. that can easily go into the Something having to do with increasing fire based attacks. What a shot! Thing, if I was, if I was going to do a game, which would probably likely be an RPG, I'd probably do what Chrono Trigger did and make the enemies like jump and open. So that if you wanted to fight them, you had the option to. I think random battle has been a bit of a nuisance, especially in this day and age. 
So just give us the option if you want to fight them. Having to stop like two seconds afterwards in order to fight a monster that we can't even see is a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> It ain't going down! I am now. Yuki-chan beat an enemy! Keep going! Yeah, what a good one. Kanji, your defense is down! We cut you down. That's some thick skin! Smash your face. It's releasing all the contained electricity out of the bolt itself. Or maybe I'm just fucking crazy. Probably that one. I gotta say, of all the protagonist weapons, they're all kind of generic and cool. I mean, there's like no lightsaber knockoff, like no toy sword, nothing like that. I think the closest you get to Ludacris are just the golf club. That's as close as you can get. It's just really on a monster with a piece of metal. Just designed to hit a ball or to a green hole. It's quite fucking Ludacris, isn't it? And again, everything in this game is quite fucking crazy. Kind of he caught you off guard! Five enemies! Oh, like, like me on that one side. I saw that! All enemies down! Nice! Now's our chance for a beatdown! What? We ain't doing it? Doing it yet. I saw that! Definitely get more money out of this one. Well, it looks like my time is running at tin low, so I'll have to get out of this jump for now. So we can go train How do you know I'm gonna leave this place? I'd be glad if I could have gotten to the save point, but then again I was too busy cutting things down with my sword and killing things with a lightning bolt, but I think that's going to do it for today. So next time in Let's Play Persona 4, we'll head back into the sauna to do a little bit more training, and we'll move on with the story. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!